But if you really wanted Vice President Harris to accept your invitation, I guess you should have told her the funds were going to bail out the looters and rioters in Minneapolis, and she would have been here guaranteed she would have been here. Former President Donald Trump didn't take any breaks from bashing Vice President Kamala Harris last night during his remarks at the Al Smith charity dinner. Trump headlined the annual dinner in Manhattan, which raises millions of dollars for Catholic charities and gives political rivals running for the White House the opportunity to share some humor off the campaign trail. It's about time. Mayor Adams, good luck with everything. They went after you. <laughs> Among those in attendance were Mayor Adams, Governor Hochul, Cardinal Tim Dolan, and Good Day New York's own Rosanna Scotto. But Harris was busy campaigning in Wisconsin and recorded a video that was played on screen instead. Does it bother you that that Trump guy insults you all the time? Because it really bothers my friends and me. Oh, Mary Catherine, it's very important to always remember you should never let anyone tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. You better remember I'm here. And she's not. Trump ate up the stage, questioning the mental fitness of President Biden, commenting on second gentleman Doug Emhoff's affair during his previous marriage, and roasting Chuck Schumer, who was seated just two chairs away from him. Chuck Schumer is here looking very glum. But look on the bright side, Chuck, considering how woke your party has become. If Kamala loses, you still have a chance to become the first woman president. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier in the day, Trump paid a visit to a barber shop in the Bronx, speaking with patrons as they got their hair cut. We all know we come in here for, um, for votes. And although it's only three weeks away, national polls show the presidential election is still a toss-up. The latest Fox News poll finds Trump is ahead of Harris by two points, but VP Harris has the cash advantage. Campaign finance reports show Harris and the Democratic Party raised $652 million between July and September. That's almost double what Trump and his GOP fundraisers brought in. Yeah, and according to a New York Times report, Harris has raised one million, uh, one billion dollars since entering the race. But the former president got a big boost from Elon Musk, who donated seventy-five million dollars to a Trump super PAC over the summer. For now, though, we're live here outside Trump Tower. Again, Shani, back to you.